morning everyone welcome back so it is a pretty gloomy little autumn's day here i've just been out for brunch but i was wearing like a coat and boots and leggings at the full works even though it's been beautiful and sunny all weekend long it has definitely turned back to the autumn kind of colors now and i've been looking out my window at the beautiful trees and thinking how much i would like to update this kind of area behind me because if you guys remember when i initially put up these frames it was probably almost a year ago now and I'm just kind of thinking I'd like to change that over because I do have the new furniture and things there as well so I bought a couple of things to restyle that area so I thought that's what we could do just do a little bit of a update to this I might end up taking these frames down and then I'll just completely kind of restyle that area with some new bits of decor to kind of match in a little bit more with the space so that's what we're going to be doing and just a super quick reminder to subscribe if you're not already I have new videos every every single week. So this is what we've got at the moment. As you would have seen, I took down those eight frames from their hangers, but I did just leave those little grips there just in case I did want to put them back if this wasn't kind of working. But now that I've seen where the mirror sits and that's just the frames down there on the sort of buffet cabinet, I think that I will definitely take all of those off because if I were to replace some, I would just put them over here and not in that zone. So that's kind of cool to see that reworked a little bit. And I'm not even sure that these kind of smaller frames work out here anymore. I think if I were to do something, it would more be like a print on a bigger canvas on that side. But I also do have some pieces of decor and plants and things to style. So I think I might keep going with that. And I'll also take down those hooks. So this arched mirror is just from Kmart. It was only $40 and you might have seen me get it in my last video. So I ordered that and went and click and collect it. It is certainly bigger than I thought it was, but I do think it works in the space. It's probably a little bit of a shame that it kind of reflects my kitchen, but provided I keep that space really clean and also I think I might cover up a little portion of it with a plant, then I think it will look really good. So let's keep going and see where I get up to. First piece of decor I'm thinking of adding over here is this big vase that I got from Country Road. So I'm thinking I might just pop that either side of the mirror. So I'll just have to move these and then figure it out. Now I'm thinking to add this plant that I have. So this is just a ZZ plant. They're pretty unkillable. I've had this one in my bedroom and it did go a little bit crazy growing in all sorts of directions. So I'm thinking I might want to tie it more together, but I do believe it'll get better sunlight out here. So I thought I would try this in that space as well. Another thing I've been wanting to add over to this space are these three little candlesticks or little mini candelabra type things that I picked up from Ikea. So they're all varying heights and I have burned the candles on them a little bit because I think it looks quite nice so I thought I would try and stack these over there these were really affordable and I'm pretty sure you can still get them in store next thing I have is this little textured green bowl from Kmart and inside this I have just stacked this a little ribbed candle so I think that might look really nice as well Another little DIY item I've got are these two little plant sprayer bottles and I ordinarily do keep them out in my kitchen area. So if you didn't uh, see my little home organization video, I will link that down below for you guys where I made these little labels. But I think these two might look quite nice and I can sort of push them further to the back as well. I think it's all going pretty nicely at the moment, but I don't want to overcrowd the area too much. So I did have one more idea, which is this cute little U-shaped vase from Kmart. Yet again, I think this was only 
a couple of dollars and it's in this kind of textural white finish so I think this might look nice just popped over in the corner and then I think we might be done because I do want to keep it quite plain but I did also want to sort of fill up that area to give it a little bit of volume given that the buffet cabinet is quite low lying and also like I said I wanted to shield a little bit of the mirror as well so it doesn't kind of show too much junk in my house so let's give this a go and then we can have a look at what we've got. So annoyingly when I took those patches off it ripped quite a lot of the paint off as well so I have a feeling when this rental was painted that it was done very cheaply because it's literally just one layer of paint on top of the plasterboard so annoyingly I'll need to do a quick little paint to fix this up but I do have a sample tub here so I think I might just quickly do that now. Okay, much better with the paint patched up. You can definitely see a few little shiny patches on the wall there where it's still drying, but it's certainly cleaned up that area where it had a lot of the scuff marks. So I do really still like these black frames and I feel like it's a bit of a waste to pack them away. And I was kind of thinking that potentially three of them could just go here in this section of the wall. So I do think I still have some of those little sticky edges. So I might just double check if I have a spare packet and maybe we can pop those up on the wall as well. All right, we are in luck. I did have a couple of these spare. They're just the Command brand little stick-on tabs. So I'm gonna pop those on the back of those three frames now and then we can pop them up on the wall. These are perfect. I think they just add a beautiful finishing touch to that corner and just balance it out a little bit because the cabinet is kind of offset from that little void space down there. So that is all completed now and I'm really happy with it. with this little area makeover and I'm so happy with it. It makes a great filming background, but it also just really brings to life this space. So I definitely wanted to incorporate a mirror to make the space feel bigger because it is so tiny. So definitely a great tip if you have a room that just feels really closed off or really cluttered, you can always try and use a mirror to open it back up because reflecting will definitely make the space feel bigger. And also just really sticking to my particular aesthetic that I've gone for this time so that it blends in with the space around it. So that's exactly why all of the decor is black and white to really blend with everything else that I've been updating as well. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.